Hey everyone, in this video we will learn so uh, in case there is an error and uh, we want to replace the error value with an, a specific value in Power Query. So how do you do that? So we will we'll learn how to do that. I will open, uh, I am on the Power BI desktop, I click on transform data and when I do click on transform data it opens the Power Query editor for me. So in, in this Power Query editor you can see that I have got this error in, in, in the date of sale. So there is a reason you know. And what we can do is we can probably catch this error and figure out and in case there is a problem I can uh, replace this value with let's say um, 1st of January uh, 1900 or, or something something like that so just a default catch for it. So I'll uh, fit this one uh, so I've got this selected I go to add column and hit custom column so it opens the uh, editor for me and here I'll just call it you know um, date uh, so I'll call it date of sale, maybe error handled. So I'll just call it date of sale error handle. And now I've already written the code. So I'll just uh, put it here. So let me just copy this first. So I'll run you past it. So here I'm saying try date of sale in case so it's, it's a try catch block. So if, if there's an error, it catches this and it catches it and so I'm saying if the error message is this then convert it to 1st of January 1900. So if there's a date format issue convert it into this else. So it's it's just this one if, if it's if I'm catching this and if I hit OK now. So let's see what happens here. So everything else is is not even coming into the try. So it, it no so let's open this. So what happens if the date is all right? It doesn't throw an error. So it doesn't go into the catch block and the default value goes in. So you can see it here. But in case the error message becomes, you know, we couldn't form it because it is the date issue, then it converts it into uh, 1st of January 1900. So let's just quickly see where this is. So 1st of January 1900, 1st of January 1900. So we, if you quickly keep scrolling, you'll see that all, all date errors have been converted into 1st of January 1900 and you might want to see what is the value that caused that error. Uh, this is not something we are covering in this specific video but in this video we are covering um, you know if there is an error and you want to replace it with maybe a default value this is how you go about doing it. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, quickly opening it again and just running you past this example so you say try and in case there is an error it goes into the catch block. And it says if this error message is this then you make it this. If there is another error which is not this even then we want it to be 1st of January 1900. So I have just kept the same value and that is what I have put in, in, in here. So I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific uh, videos or topics. Cheers. Bye.